Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, Gulf of Mannar was recently seen in the news. It is associated with which of the following states? Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana or West Bengal? The correct answer is option B, Tamil Nadu. Recently, dead coral reefs were observed near Kurusadai, Tamil Nadu, one of the 21 uninhabited islands forming the Gulf of Mannar Marine National Park. The Gulf of Mannar is located in Tamil Nadu. It is an inlet of the Indian Ocean between southeastern India and western Sri Lanka. It is bounded to the northeast by Rameshwaram Island, Adams, that is Rama's Bridge, a chain of shoals, and Mannar Island. Gulf of Mannar Marine National Park was established in 1982 under the provisions of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. The total area of the national park is about 162.89 square kilometer. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements with reference to the Swami Vivekananda. 1. Mahatma Gandhi had called him the maker of modern India. 2. He was the chief disciple of Dayanand Saraswati. 3. He spelt out the pathways of attaining moksha in his books. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option A, only one. Recently, the Prime Minister recalled Swami Vivekanand's iconic speech at the World's Parliament of Religions in Chicago on September 11, 1893. He introduced the world to the Indian philosophies of Vedanta and Yoga. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose has called Vivekanand the maker of modern India. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. He was the chief disciple of the 19th century mystique Ramakrishna Paramhans and established the Ramakrishna Mission in 1897. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. He spelt out the four pathways of attaining moksha from worldly pleasure and attachment in its books Raj Yoga, Karma Yoga, Gyan Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. Hence, statement 3 is correct. In 1899, he established the Belur Mud, which became his permanent. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, consider the following statements with reference to the African Union. 1. It consists of 50 member states located on the continent of Africa. 2. It was established in the Sete Declaration in Sirte, Libya. 3. It was admitted as a member of the G20 like the European Union. How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. The correct answer is option B, only two. Recently, the permanent inclusion of the African Union into the G20 is termed as a big victory for the continent's democracy. The African Union is a continental union consisting of 55 member states located on the continent of Africa. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The AU was announced in the Sirte Declaration in Sirte, Libya on 9 September 1999 calling for the establishment of the African Union. It was launched in 2002. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The objectives of the African Union are to achieve greater unity, cohesion and solidarity among African countries and African nations. At the 18th G20, that is Group of 20 meeting held in Delhi, India, the African Union was admitted as a member of the G20 like the European Union. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is, in the context of Indian biodiversity, what is the IUCN status of white sambar? Critically endangered, near threatened, vulnerable or endangered? The correct answer is option C, vulnerable. Recently, the researchers discovered a white sambar in the Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary. This is the first recorded photographic record of a white form of sambar from this landscape. The IUCN status of white sambar is vulnerable. According to a release of the research team, leucism is a condition in which the pigmentation of an animal's skin is missing, causing white or pale skin. This condition can occur naturally from birth due to a phenotype that may have formed from a defect in the animal's development. It is different from albinism, which is a condition that arises due to a lack of melatonin in the animal's skin, but the animal has pink or reddish eyes. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Recently, the term Earth check 002 was in the news. It is related to dwarf planet, new galaxy, new star or meteorite. The correct answer is option D, meteorite. Recently, some unusual rocks containing distinctive greenish crystals were found in the Erkchek sand sea. 
These are the rocks containing distinctive greenish crystals that turned out to be from outer space left over from the dawn of the solar system. They were all pieces of a meteorite known as Erk Chek 002 which is the oldest volcanic rock ever found. It is known as an ungrouped achondrite which means their parent bodies and family relationships are unknown. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is exercise Varun is sometimes seen in the news. It is related with India-France naval exercise, the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force joint exercise, India-USA air exercise or quad members naval exercise. The correct answer is option A, India-France naval exercise. Recently, phase 2 of the Varun naval exercise between the Indian and French Navy was conducted in the Arabian Sea. It is the bilateral naval exercise between India and France. It was named Varun in 2001 and has become a hallmark of India-France strategic bilateral relationship. The exercise witnessed the participation of guided missile frigates, tankers, maritime patrol aircraft and integral helicopters from two sides. The exercise was conducted over three days and witnessed joint operations, underway replenishment and various tactical maneuvers. The first phase of Varun 2023 was conducted off India's western seaboard from 16 to 20 January 2023. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following countries. 1. Western Sahara, 2. Spain, 3. Algeria. Which of the above given countries has a border with Morocco? 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 2 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Recently, Morocco struggled after a rare powerful earthquake killed and injured scores of people. It is bordered by Spain to the north, Algeria to the east and Western Sahara to the south. It is a northern African country bordering the North Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea and a large part of Morocco is mountainous. Its capital city is Rabat and its largest city and main port is Casablanca. Ibn Battuta from Morocco came to India during the rule of the Delhi Sultanate. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Sharia's scroll painting. 1. It is an art form unique to the state of Telangana. 2. Indian mythology is one of the themes of these paintings. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, Sharia's scroll painting was presented to the spouses of heads of state from around the world at the G20 summit. It is a popular and modified version of Nakashi art considered highly rich in the local motifs. This art form is unique to the state of Telangana and is made mostly in Hyderabad. Hence, statement 1 is correct. These scrolls are painted in a narrative format similar to a film role or even comic strips and depict stories from Indian mythology as well as the shorter stories related to the Puranas and epics Mahabharat, Ramayan, Shiv Puranam, Markande Puranam. Hence, statement 2 is correct. In this form of art, the iconography of major deities like Vishnu, Shiv, etc. carry a strong local idiom. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the solar orbiter aircraft. 1. It is a joint mission of the European Space Agency and NASA. 2. It was launched to study the upper layer of the sun's atmosphere. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, the researchers studied the findings of the solar orbiter aircraft and they have detected picoflare jets from the sun's outer atmosphere. It is a joint mission by the European Space Agency and the US Space Agency NASA and it was launched in 2020. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Its objective is to study the upper layer of the sun's atmosphere, the corona. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It is the most complex scientific laboratory ever to have been sent to the sun. It will take images of the sun from closer than any spacecraft before. It contains six remote sensing instruments and four sets of in situ instruments. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is which one of the following best explains or describes the term Schizotachium and Americum. It is a species of bamboo. It is a plant disease. It is an invasive plant or none of these. The correct answer is option A. It is a species of bamboo. Recently, the Patent Office of the Government of India has granted a patent to the Botanical Survey of India for bamboo, Schizostachium and Americum based reusable straw. It was discovered on the Andaman Island about three decades ago. 
This is only found in some forested areas of Andamans. It grows primarily in the wet tropical biome. This species of bamboo is characterized by a thin, large, hollow, erect culm that is stem with long internodes and has the potential to develop into a straw. It has a small white flowers that are arranged in clusters. The seeds are small and black and the seedlings have thin, light green leaves. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Last question is which one of the following best explains or describes the term A400M atlas? It is a black hole, it is an exoplanet, it is a newly discovered mountain or it is a military transport aircraft. The correct answer is option D. It is a military transport aircraft. Recently, Airbus, a leading aircraft manufacturer, globally responds to the Indian Air Force request for information for a medium transport aircraft with the A400M Atlas. It is a multinational four-engine turboprop. The aircraft is manufactured by Airbus Defence and Space, a division of the European Aerospace and Defence firm Airbus. It was designed to meet the requirements of the Belgium, French, German, Spanish, Turkish, Luxembourg and UK Air Forces. It is a multi-role aircraft that serves as both a tactical airlifter and a strategic airlifter. It can carry up to 37 tons of cargo and be used for transport, air-to-air -air refueling and paratroop missions. It stands out for its ability to carry oversized cargo including vehicles and helicopters. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the chicken pox. 1. It is caused by bacteria. 2. It cannot spread through fluids from an infected person. Which of the statements given above is or not correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.